Hello. Myself, Pune Desarda, a practicing company secretary based in Pune. In this presentation, I will cover requirement and applicability of filing of form BEN2 and will try to provide practical inputs. In this presentation, I will cover requirement and applicability of filing of form BEN2 and will try to provide practical inputs for filling up the said form. This presentation will mainly be from the point of view of small companies and other private applicability of the said form to them. MCA on 13 June 2018 issued rules called Companies Significant Beneficial Owners Rules 2018 which were amended by Companies Significant Beneficial Owners Amendment Rules 2019 on 8 February 19, which introduced Form BEN2. Now, in stepwise manner, we will go through the applicability of the reporting, contents of the form and due dates for filing the form. Now, who shall file Form BEN2? Rule 4 of these rules states that reporting company shall file a return of significant beneficial owner in form BEN2 with the registrar. So which company is classified as reporting company? The rule states that every owner shall fall under the criteria of reporting company. Now who is significant beneficial owner? Definition of significant beneficial owner pursuant to section 90 subsection 1 of the Companies Act 2013 and Rule 2H states and Rule 2H states following criteria. A significant beneficial owner always will be an individual. Said individual shall either alone or together or through one or more person or trust directly or indirectly shall hold not less than 10% of the shares of the reporting company or shall hold not less than 10% of voting rights of the shares or shall have right to of total distributable dividend or shall have significant influence in any other manner on the reporting company. Now what is direct right or entitlement held by significant beneficial owner? So <coughs> significant beneficial owner. So <coughs> if the shares or voting rights as mentioned above are in the name of the individual owner or if they are held by some other person for the individual owner and this is beneficial interest under section 89 of the Companies Act uh, 2013 then it is called direct right or direct entitlement. <coughs> what is indirect right or entitlement held by significant beneficial owner? If the above mentioned 10% interest is held by any body corporate including a foreign body corporate other than LLP then SBO shall be an individual holding majority stake. The majority, majority stake is defined as more than half of equity shares or voting rights or right to receive distributable dividend or any other distribution in the said body corporate. So the situation can be explained as below. If R is a reporting company having B a body corporate having 10% interest in R then I being an individual holding more than 50% stake in B shall be significant beneficial owner. The second situation holding majority stake in ultimate holding of the said body corporate shall be called as significant beneficial owner. This situation can be explained in the following example. So if R is a reporting company having B a body corporate 
interest of 10% in R 10% in R and H is a holding company of the said body corporate B having more than 50% stake in B then I an individual holding more than 50% stake in H shall be significant beneficial owner so if there are more more than more than one layer of holding co body corporate then significant beneficial owner shall be an individual holding more than 50% stake in last layer of holding now second indirect right if 10% interest in the repo then karta of the huf shall be significant beneficial owner third criteria if 10% interest in reporting company is held by a partnership entity or llp then significant beneficial owner shall be individual partner then significant beneficial owner shall be individual partner of the said firm or if the firm has body corporate as partner then the significant beneficial owner shall be either individual holding majority stake in the said body corporate is a reporting company having f a firm 10% in interest in r and h is a holding body corporate of f then h will have more than 50% stake in f and then i being an individual holding more than 50% stake in h shall be significant beneficial owner in second case individual holding more than 50% stake in ultimate holding of the said body corporate this this situation denotes more than one layer of holding body corporate therefore significant beneficial owner shall be an individual holding more than 50% stake in the last layer of holding body corporate now fourth criteria if the 10% interest is held trust then significant beneficial owner shall be as below he shall be a trustee in case of discretionary trust or charitable trust in case of beneficial in pay, in case of specific trust he will be beneficiary of the trust in case of revocable trust he will be author or settler of the trust now the criteria of 10% shareholding requires to define what is shares so for these rules for these rules shares include global depository receipts compulsory convertible preference shares or compulsory convertible debentures the major in majority stake significant beneficial owner other criteria is significant influence so what is significant influence significant influence means power to participate in the financial or operating policy decisions of the reporting company so any individual who has power to participate so any individual who has power to participate in financial or operating policy of reporting company will be significant beneficial owner now how reporting company shall identify significant beneficial owner every reporting company to all non individual members for determination of significant beneficial owner and ask them to reply within a period of 30 days after receipt of notice in bn4 the sbo can give reply or before receipt of the notice in bn4 he can give declaration of his beneficial interest so every sbo shall file a declaration in form ben1 to the reporting company now en1 to the reporting company now for initially on commencement of these rules said declaration is required to be filed within 90 days of commencement of these rules and uh, subsequently 
whenever shareholding changes and a person becomes significant within 30 days of becoming significant beneficial owner shall file a declaration in form B and 1 to the reporting company. Now what are the contents of form B and 1? The first details of significant beneficial owner in form B in form B and 1 significant beneficial owner shall give his name address email id date of birth or age father's mother's or spouse's name occupation nationality in case of foreign national passport number and this individual or karta of huf or trustee of trust or beneficiary of trust or author or settler of trust or in case of an investment agency, general, whether he is general partner, investment manager or CEO of said investing agency. In second criteria, criteria, he shall give following details. Details of member of reporting company. So, first it shall be mentioning type of the member. That is whether the said member is company or LLP or body corporate or HUF or partnership firm or partnership firm, discretionary trust, charitable trust, specific trust, revocable trust, pooled investment vehicle or an entity controlled by pooled investment vehicle. Secondly, SIN, LLPIN or other name of the member and address of the member. Thereafter, details of interest, indirect uh, holding or exercise right shall be given. It shall be percentage of shares held or percent of voting rights or percent of distributable dividend or any other distribution or in case of control, copy of agreement uh, by which control is obtained, it shall be attached to form B in 1. Or in case of significant influence, copy copy of agreement, significant influence, copy copy of agreement through which significant influence is exercised shall be attached to form B in one. In case of direct holding, the nature of direct holding or exercise right shall be given as follows: percentage of shares or percentage of right on distributable dividend or any other distribution or in case of control copy of agreement through which control is obtained or in case of significant influence copy of agreement through which significant influence is exercised what is the last date of filing of initial form b and 1 rule 3 of the rule states that significant beneficial owner shall file form b and 1 to the reporting company within a period of 90 days from commencement of company's significant beneficial owners amendment rules special owners amendment rules 2019 rule 1 of the said rule states that the rules shall come into force on the date of their publication in the official gazette now these rules were published in official gazette on 8 february 2019 beneficial owners are required to file form B in 1 to reporting company on or before 8th May 2019. Filing of return of significant beneficial owners in form B in 2. The reporting company shall be of 30 days from the date of receipt of declaration in form B in 1 from significant beneficial owner file form B in 2 with the registrar now what is the due date of fi a filing initial form b and 2 initial initial form b and 2 shall be filed within 30 days from the date of receipt of declaration in form b in 1 the last date of filing form b and 1 is 8th may 2019 as we have seen above so it can be concluded that last date of filing initial form B and 2 shall be 6th June 2019. Note that e form B and 2 has not yet been deployed on MCA portal as on 6th 
as on 2019 and mca on 6th september 2018 wide circular number 7 by 2018 has declared that the time limit for filing form bn2 would be from the date of deployment of e form bn2 on mca 21 portal however time period for form bn1 and form bn4 has already started please proceed with the sending notices and receiving declaration so that once form bn2 is deployed on mca portal the same can be